Well, welcome to uh, Sweetwater Reservoir. I'm Jim Smythe, the General Manager of Sweetwater Authority. So let's take a walk over to, uh, to the rock and the uh, plaque from ASCE. So here we are uh, getting closer to the dam and it's over here in the overlook. Now this is not the original dam, you can't see that. The original dam is actually behind what you see over here. However, over on the uh, south spillway or to the right, if you want to walk a little closer here, the, you actually can see a part of the original dam, which is that sort of triangular piece there just by the, again, the south spillway on the left side. That is actually part of the original dam. So again, the original dam was built in 1888. It took about 17 months. Uh, it was about $300,000, including about 60 miles of pipeline that they ran to the west of us here into the city of Chula Vista and the city of National City. And so down below us here is actually symbolic. Of course, it is the plaque that we uh, received from ASCE, but this rock is the symbolic of what was mined from a quarry just down below us here. So they had brought the dynamite in and they blasted this quarry to make the dam. And so the dam is arched. It is, uh, was something very unusual at that time in 1888. It was one of the largest arched dams in actually the United States. But it was put together with this rock that came down below here. Interestingly enough, the cement that was used came from Belgium. So it was shipped over. <clears throat> and there was, I'm not sure how many uh, laborers were on this, but it, of course in those days the uh, Machinery was quite archaic, but this dam again was built uh, in 1888. Again, took about 17 months. It was much lower, but it was the same uh, length, about 300 feet. It was about, it's about 100 feet now in height. It was a little less than that at the time. This dam you see here now was actually raised and fortified in 1917 after a significant flood occurred in 1916. It was called the Hatfield floods. There was significant damage, but then they went ahead uh, the water company back at that time raised it and fortified it. Now if we look uh, behind us here to this valve, okay. so this actually is the original valve. It's a gate valve and the gate valve goes you know, vertically up and down. Of course it's very very large. They don't make them like this is uh, today's conditions of course, but this valve allowed water to come from the reservoir into the water system. So as I explained earlier when they built the dam in 1888, with 60 miles of pipeline. So this was the valve that brought again the water from the reservoir and, and into the pipe and sent it west into the city of Chula Vista, city of National City. I can't remember when we took this out, but it was quite an effort, but it is symbolic of what uh, was done. So we did bring it up here to this particular location where there is the, the overlook and it's also the ASCE uh, designation of the uh, historic uh, Sweetwater Dam. Okay, we're rolling. All right, here's a photo of Sweetwater uh, Reservoir as it stands today. So the dam is up here at the west end, and it, uh, at full uh, capacity, it's almost 27,000 acre feet of water, which for Sweetwater Authority and 190,000 customers, that's well over a year's supply of water. So this, again, this dam. Um, back in 1888 was quite significant because there were no other dams or reservoirs that I'm aware of at that time. So Frank Kimball, again the owner of the water system, the Kimball Brothers Water Company, was quite innovative because he knew he needed two things to develop an area, again to the west of us. He needed water and he needed the railroad system. So quite visionary he was, he had that dam again built. So when he built the, uh, again the dam in 1888, he apps, you know, was starting the development of the south part of the uh, city of San Diego, I should say the county of San Diego. The city of San Diego was just starting uh, its development, but I would say that Mr. Kimball was quite ahead of them uh, in terms of, of getting ahead in, in terms of water supply. All right, we're now down on the north parapet of Sweetwater Dam. So behind me, again, is the original, uh, excuse me, is the uh, dam that was upgraded in 1917. Again, behind it is the original 1888 dam. This also over here has the, known as the intake tower, and that's where water from the reservoir goes in, 
It goes down, uh, downstream to a pump station and lifts up for treatment. Now, I believe the reason that ASCE designated this as historic because, again, in 1888, when the dam was completed, it was the largest and tallest masonry arch dam at that time. Again, the concept of masonry was because, as I indicated earlier, down uh, stream of here, they mined the large granite rock. <clears throat> And they brought that up again with that cement and they formed it together like blocks. So like masonry, building a wall. And of course the arch is, it's curved. So I believe that was the significance of that at that time. And again, as we look upstream of the dam, it is a beautiful viewpoint. It shows again the storage here. And we're about 50% full here. It's about 13,000 acre feet of water. Uh, this is also home of many endangered species. California gnat catcher, least bells vireo, willow flycatcher, southwestern arroyo toad, name a few. So it is quite a place and it is pristine out here. There's not much development uh, to the east of us and to the south of us as opposed to the, uh, the northern side, it is quite developed. Okay, now we're going to be looking over again to the south abutment or the south parapet and south spillway structure. And, and again, you'll now see a closer view of the original part of Damas, again, the triangular portion. In 1888, again, that stabilizes that side of the, uh, the structure. Again, you can see the dam here as well. And again, this was dam was built on the Sweetwater River. The Sweetwater River uh, is, is approximately 30, 40 miles long. It goes up to the east, up the Cuyamaca Mountains, way to the east. This has been known as the Lower Sweetwater River, so it continues down about five to about eight miles down to San Diego Bay. And down below there, you would see, it's a little hard to see off to the left down there, is the quarry where they brought the rock up. It's a beautiful spot. And it is a beautiful spot.